What's up, YouTube? This is Barab52, and welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. In the last video, we went down into storage. Actually, no. We finished being down in storage, and we got our st our rods that we need, and we got the last one in the back hall, and now we are ready to go into the mechanics room, except we need the key, which I have a feeling is in the guest room, which is the last room that we haven't explored. As soon as we're in the mechanics room, we can repair the elevator, and then go down deeper into horror. I'm assuming is is what that is. So, going to the guest room right now, and we're gonna find a key. Okay, what on earth happened here? My journal is gone. What they want with my journal? Okay, so Daniel's journal is gone, which is what we've been picking up this whole time. I gotta find a key somewhere. Oh, laudanum. Laudanum. All right, here's a note. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Okay then, so, um, their expedition was attacked to some extent, and then one of the dudes was injured and then they came in. Everybody was all dead and everything, or they didn't, couldn't find him. But looking for oh, a crowbar, tinderbox, and a note. Third of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? No one knows, Daniel. No one knows. Okie dokie. Alright, so nothing in here. Nothing anywhere except a book. Tried to turn it there, but I forgot the controls. Anything hidden anywhere? Anything at all? Behind these paintings? No? Alright. What about you? No? Alright. Hmm. What about this painting? Yeah! Alrighty then. Last room. Oh. Ooh. How about a crowbar? A? Haha. <laughs> Boop. 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 How do I. Do I hold it down? Yeah. Boop. How do I. Ah, there we go. Yeah! Boom. The key. Please, let it be here. Alright, so, the key is in here. But where is it? Oh! I wonder where it is! Oh, 
Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Yep. Found it. Alright, how do I... Yeah. Booyah. Machine room key. Alright. 4th of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. It sure is. All right, moving on then. <laughs> to the back hall. Got our key. We got the notes. The orb is assembled, ladies and gentlemen. The orb is assembled. Alrighty then. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. To the machine room. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Enter. Enter, we shall do. Sir William Smith had been marked. There is no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Oh my. This is unpleasant. At best. Note here. 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hmm. Very curious. What's this? What is this? Oh, 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 I forgot. I have that note. Uh, on the uh, elevator machine instructions. All right. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use a steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Alright, so I'm assuming that is this. Uh -huh. Oh, okay then. Pull out the lantern. So up 8, down 8. Let's see, 3. Uh, what's this? 5. So five and three, but we don't have that, so we could do six and two. Six and two. All right, and then three, six, so, oh, wait, but, oh, I'm out of oil. Bloop, 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 bloop. Can I do that? So if we do this, that's still two, and we get two up here. Three, six, eight. Yeah, got it. Flow is even and stable. Nice. So let's move down. Ugh. Get on my wet pipes. Nobody likes you. Okay, okay. Next room. Um. There's nothing in here. Oh, note. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. 
While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Okay, so, oh, we got another note. Note that the only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure my only discard this, the ones that are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study room in case all three would crack again. Oh, there's this. Alright. Hmm. So this is where the rods go, I assume. Alright, so. Stream. Wait, no, that was, um, cycle. Stream. Forfeit. Oh, okay. Well, first try then. <laughs> the rods are in place. Very nice. Soon this elevator will be up in no time. Last room, all the way at the bottom. Oh, letter. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Don't go, Daniel. Well, you already know that he went. We're here. Alright. Let's see. Clash Royale notifications here. Boop. Boom. I'm sure he needs more work before it will run. Hmm. What's this? Oop. Oop. Sanity. But stop. Boop. Open. There we go. What's this? Burner. Oop. 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 Yeah. Hmm. More work. Um, about this room. There's a lot of dust in here. Oh, oh, a few drops of oil. Very nice. What's this? Nothing. Oh, shovel. Tinderbox. <laughs> Very nice. Hmm. Not know what to do. I dig up this. Yeah, yeah. Nah. <sighs> Sis. Nothing. Oh, cogwheels. I got that. Is it cogwheel? <laughs> Bloop. Bloop. Bag. There we go. Here's one. There's one in here. No. Alright. Keep looking. For cog wheels. I think there's one up here. Aha. Got one. Uh. <laughs> My stuff is lagging. That's not a good sign. Boop. 
Alright, there's another one. One more. If I put my lantern down, I'll stop lagging. Hello? Boop. Hmm. Hmm. Any cogwheels in here? No. Aha. Here's the last one. Alright, I'm gonna fix my webcam. I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's better. Still, okay, it's just, it's, it's just broken. It's just broken, I've given up. I've given up. The rendering is too much. Ooh, it's too much. So, don't focus on the webcam, guys. You got all the cogwheels. Blech. What? More work. What do you want from me? There's gotta be something with this burner. Yeah. Come on. There's nothing in the burner for tonight. What about this dust? Eh? Is there anything I can hold it in? No? How do I... Maybe there are just like clumps that I could take. This. There we go. Here's some coal. Boom. Alright. Will work now? Ugh. More coal. Alright. Boom. There we go. More coal. Jeez. Alright. Surely this is enough. Third time's the charm. Yeah. Oh, the burner's now full of coal. Alright. Boom. Blech. Lag. Oh, 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 I did it. Yes. The elevator is working. Nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Lag and goop. Lag and goop. One thing that follows me throughout this whole game. Lag and goop. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh god. There's too much. There's too much. La oh, lag, lag and goop. There's too much lag. There's too much. Oh, good out. All right, made it. Oh, all right, <laughs> nice. I am losing. Sa okay then. Oh, oh my God. There's so much lag, and so much goop. Uh. Oh my God, lag. Calm yourself. Okay, so I guess we can only go on the elevator. Lag, my god, stop lagging. Game! Come on, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. Alright, let's go down. Oh yes. Ooh. I'm ready for a lag-tastic adventure. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings and counting. Nine different things from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Hello again. Sweet break from the lag there. Hi. Oh god. Okay. Can I get out? No. Conserve some lantern oil here. I have a feeling we're gonna fall. A sneaking suspicion. Some rocks. Some goop. Some lag. A little bit of every category there. And we're gonna fall. Three, two, one, zero. Yep. And we're falling. Couldn't have expected more. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'm glad the game decided to be kind. Ugh. Ugh. Get up, Daniel. You baby. Eh. Alrighty then. So I'm already over time, so I'll finish this up in the next video. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I like to think before the lag takes over, I'm gonna go. Goodbye.